Trim Installation The correct installation of trim cannot be overemphasized. The overall appearance of the finished greenhouse depends primarily on the quality of the installation of the trim. Make sure you keep all trim lines straight. Make all bends sharp and neat. Be sure the edges are not jagged, dented, crimped, or serrated. End joints and laps must be closely controlled for neatness. Mueller trim comes with a protective film coating to aid in the prevention of scuffing during transit. Do not allow this film to be exposed to the sun. Exposure to the sun will bond the film to the metal, making removal very difficult. Remove the film upon delivery, being very careful of the sharp edges on the trim. Care must be taken at all times not to scratch the trim, but especially once the protective film is removed. Corner Trim Once all of the wall sheets are installed, the corner trim can now be attached to all corners according to the erection drawings. It should be raised one inch from the bottom of the frame to match the bottom of the wall sheets. The screw pattern should be in line with the wall screws. This screw should be the standard self-drill screw with a 5 16 head. If the trim is colored, the screw will be painted the same color. Eave Trim Before the roof sheets are started, the eave trim needs to be installed over the top of the eave channel and wall panels as shown in erection drawings. Roof Sheet Installation There are two ways to install your roof sheets. One, assemble the sheets together on the ground and roll out on the roof. Or two, install each sheet separately. The first method is to lay out your sheets and lap straps on the ground, lining up all the edges. Tip, use a small set of vice grip pliers to clamp the sheet laps and lap strap together on the ground for perfect alignment. Then install at least two LapTex screws in each connection. After all the sheets and lap straps are assembled for a side, Carefully roll the assembly and move to the roof for final attachment. Install the closure strip, placing a starter piece on top of the eave trim. Center the first major rib as directed in your greenhouse installation instructions. Splice a full closure to the starting closure and apply along the top of the eave. Continue closure run along the eave in preparation for the roof panels. It's helpful to mark the eave trim and the ridge purlin on three foot centers to have a visual reference for placing the closures and roof panels. Use these visual reference marks to keep the closures centered properly. At this point, place the rolled roof sheet assembly on top of the roof purlins, align and square the assembly, and verify the overhang before securing the sheets with the appropriate screws. The second method is the typical one sheet at a time. It's recommended that both sides of the roof be sheeted simultaneously, checking for proper alignment as the sheeting progresses. Prepare the roof by placing the closure strips as previously explained for the first method. Once the eave is prepared, the first roof panel may be installed. Check the erection drawings to determine the roof overhang at the eave. Set the roof panel in place over the inside closure, ensuring the major ribs of the panel nest properly with the inside closure. As the starting panel is placed, it should be exactly the same distance from the rake end of the greenhouse to both the lower and upper ends of the roof sheet. This will assure the roof panel is square with the frame. By using the above mentioned reference marks after each sheet, the roof can maintain a square application all the way to the end. With the first panel properly placed, secure the panel to the structure with the appropriate fasteners. Insert the lap stiffener and position the next sheet, ensuring it stays plumb and nests properly on the closure strip, then secure with fasteners. With the first panel run completed, the second panel run may be started. Prepare the eave with an inside closure as shown previously. Position the panel so that the overlapping ribs will nest properly. Be sure to check for proper overhang and panel coverage. Rake Trim Installation Rake trim will have to be cut with tin snips at the center to create the peak where the opposing rakes meet. Attach rake trim to wall panels with LapTex screws and seal between the roof panel and rake trim with tape sealant or caulk as shown in the erection drawings. Ridge Roll Installation Ridge roll is used to cap off the roof sheets at the peak of the roof. 
Place outside closure strips on top of the roof sheets located one inch uphill from the edge of the ridge roll. Install the ridge roll on top of the closures and ridge. All of the lap screws should be installed according to the installation drawings during this process. If the greenhouse length requires a spliced ridge roll, the splice overlap needs to be caulked when installed. Remember, sweep up all the drill shavings from the panels at the end of each work period to help maintain a safe work environment and to avoid surface rust that will damage the panel. Congratulations on the purchase of your DIY Mueller greenhouse. We're confident that your greenhouse will provide many years of enjoyment and satisfaction. Please call us at 1-877-2-MUELLER. Visit our website at www.muellerinc.com or visit one of our many branches located throughout the South and Southwestern United States.